Hey everyone, how's it going? So today is a very special video because it is the first ever of this new series called Deshaun Does Talk. And if you abbreviate that, that becomes DDT. You get it? Because like DDT, it's like a WWE move. Uh -huh. I, I know, I'm stupid, but I thought it would be, you know, kind of cute and kind of funny. But uh, yeah, you guys are probably making fun of me as you're watching this right now. But I thought it'd be cool because, you know, DDT is a WWE move and as corny as it sounds, I thought it would be very cool and very unique. And I thought I'd start up the series because a lot of people do WWE news, you know, talk weekly, even some do daily, but I'm just going to do weekly. I'm not going to try to do it every day. As many times as I can do this series will be awesome. I know my good buddy Muscle Man Malcolm does uh, Talk Malcolm Talk, which is awesome. So I thought I'd start up my own one. Today is going to be episode one of Deshaun Does Talk. So since it's the first episode, I'm only gonna be doing two topics today. I'm just gonna go pretty easy on this one just to see how it does, get, my, get the ball rolling, you know what I mean? So to start things off, let's get to the first topic. And by the way, you guys probably may have already heard these two topics, but you know, it's the first episode, like I said, so here we go. So the first big thing of the week is James Ellsworth gonna be getting a contract, a full-time contract to WWE. You know, I'm a huge fan of James Ellsworth. I love his character. I love the storyline that they're doing with him. Steen Ambrose and AJ Styles. Hell, he, I hope he gets a WWE title shot. I hope he does. You know, he's proven to get over with the crowd. He has his own t-shirt on WWEshop.com, which is awesome. So I'm really pulling for the kid for them to get that deal, you know, done and have him as a full-time employee in WWE. Like I mentioned, he has a great character. He has a great personality has a great spirit to him you know not many guys like him would even think about trying to be in WWE but you know the fact that he came over all these obstacles and you know people telling him you know you can't be in WWE look at you you're this small and you look like that no offense to you James I'm a boss ass bitch 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 but you get what I'm saying all these obstacles that he's had to overcome which is incredible and I'm a huge James Ellsworth supporter I definitely gotta buy a shirt one of these days but yes James Ellsworth trying to get that contract done. I hope he does. I hope the WWE does it. So WWE, if you're watching this, do it. I like the first one. You probably already heard this, but Shane McMahon added to the SmackDown 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series Elimination Tag Team. It'll be cool to see Shane back in the ring since WrestleMania 32. It's always a treat to see Shane McMahon back in the ring whenever you get to see it. So it should add a different dimension to the SmackDown team. You know, an older guy. But regardless, it should be very fun to watch. I don't know what role he's going to serve. If Maybe if Brock Lesnar interferes because, you know, they're having that little feud. Even though Brock and Goldberg are having their feud, maybe Brock will interfere in that match. So we'll have to see what plays out. But it'll definitely be cool to see Shane McMahon joining the SmackDown team. This five-on-five -five traditional tag team match is stacked. It's loaded with guys. So to take out Baron Corbin and add Shane McMahon, that's definitely an improvement. And that's definitely a step up. So having Shane McMahon on your team is definitely an advantage to SmackDown. But Raw has Braun Strowman, so it kind of equals it out. But all in all, I'm very excited for... Shane McMahon to step into the ring again. His first time since WrestleMania 32, like I mentioned. Hopefully we get to see a coast-to-coast, -coast, maybe with a trash can. Wait, no, you can't use a trash can because that'll cause a disqualification and he'll be out of the match. So maybe just a coast-to-coast. -coast. I don't know, that kind of hurt, but we'd have to see. A brand new series, episode one of Deshaun Does Talk, DDT. You get it? Not DDP, DDT. But that'll do it for this video for you guys today. So I hope you guys like it. Comment down below if you guys enjoy it, if you guys would like to see more uh, weekly topic videos of WWE news, of uh, the biggest news in WWE. Oh, quick, before I forget, my P.O. Box information, yes, I did get a P.O. Box if you didn't see my last video, will be down in the description box below. So, I welcome any fan mail, any anything really that you guys want to send me, any cards, any pictures, any any fan mail that you guys want to send me, it will be down in the description box below. So go check it out if you guys want to send it to me. Awesome. If you don't, I don't care. That's cool with me. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that is an option. So if you want to do it, awesome. If you don't, hey, I don't mind. But anyways, guys, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. All my social media links will be down in the description.